and we can ask something. Yes, you can ask. <laughs> Please, Tom. I don't know if I have the answer, <laughs> but I'm ready to listen. <laughs> so, we yes. just heard that you have a really, really uh, um, moving history in, of your life. What do you mean? I mean, uh, you happen to be the former president of Belgian television. Yeah. And uh, you happen to be the, the ID man behind the possibility that these young people arrived here. Yes. And, uh, and we were just wanted to know how come that you, you felt I, this way. <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> Because I like invention. Uh -huh. I like doing things which are different and move forward, you know. Mm -hmm. It's an old idea. I always have said I'm against authority. I've new, I've, I'm for new things. Okay, that's the only thing. And I think that we should try to make things better in some way. Mm -hmm. So let's go. That's uh -huh. all. That's <laughs> very easy. Uh -huh. Very easy. Have things better for the other and for yourself at the same time. Uh -huh. That's all. And discover the world. Ah. No, 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 no. <laughs> discover the world. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was the far most, uh, the most far, uh, most remote country that you ever been with? doing Japan. television. Japan. Oh, Japan. In Japan, I've been there because at some point we produced program about Japan, a bit like we do now about Page. Uh -huh. And uh, there was discussions about what we have been showing of Japan mm -hmm. and the, the Japanese television has invited me to explain why we did this and this and not that or that. You uh -huh. see what I mean? Uh -huh. Because they were not completely happy with what we said about Japan. <laughs> Oh. Well, because we were discussing some aspect of Japan society at the time. It was a long time ago, you know. Uh -huh. But okay, this uh -huh. is one thing. But uh, television is a very important thing and is a great danger. It can, make, it can make people more intelligent or eventually more stupid. So it all depends on the way it's done. Mm -hmm. So you must try to make it clear for people, you know, that open mm -hmm. their eyes, open their mind, rather than make them a bit... Uh, passive and all that. Mm -hmm. So, so if you must do that, you must sometimes criticize some powers, some government, some party, such and such and mm -hmm. such. Mm -hmm. You must be free in expression of the right thing to be said. Mm -hmm. So, we tried. We tried. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we succeed, but we tried. Uh -huh. At least. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And can, uh, can you talk about your experience about Hungary? Uh, My experience about Hungary, it's a very limited experience, I must say, but very, very, very fascinating. We have, I've been only three times in my life in Hungary, which is very little. Uh -huh. Once in a town, which is Pech, which is, I think, a very charming city, which I didn't know before Pech was this, decided to be capital of culture. Mm -hmm. You know, Pech was something unknown in Belgium, and mm -hmm. unknown to me, but I think unknown in many people. And I discovered suddenly a city which was industrial in some way, uh -huh. where the problem of industrial city, of uh -huh. course, as we all have in Liège too, we have problem of industrial cities uh -huh. nowadays. But the charm, the charm of Pech as a city, with all the mixture of uh, the old Muslim Turkish influence and then the, uh -huh. the Catholic influence and all the, all the mixture. Uh -huh. And the charm of the streets, which has been very much renewed now. Uh -huh. I came one year ago and it was difficult to walk inside of pitch, but uh -huh. now it's marvelous. Uh -huh. And you know, there, you have a feeling there that you are in an, at the same time, modern city, because there are things which are modern on one side and very charmingly old on others. So for me, Pech, It's suddenly very attractive and I want to bring the people around me there, you know, I've been with my daughter there and I'm going to go tomorrow another day to visit Pech again. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, now I've discovered this village in which we are and I discovered the atmosphere, which was charming for two reasons. One, the people of the, of the, people of the seminar, you know, all the people involved, the contact was very easy. We had the impression that we knew one another a long time ago, mm -hmm. so it was very open. And I find too the same type of attitude in the population. I went into a cafe and after two times I went to a cafe, okay, we shook hands, you see what I mean? Uh -huh. Okay. So I mean, it seemed to me that Hungary is, seemed to be, for me, for me, an open, an open country with open city and open villages. It is my impression up to now. I've only been one day in Budapest, so I cannot comment because mm -hmm. I, I didn't spend time enough. Mm -hmm. But Pech and this village for me 
is a very warm and charming and important discovery. Uh -huh. That's what I can say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And ca can you say, say something about Hungarian films, uh, movies, uh, or television culture, or can you compare uh, things uh -huh. with uh, uh -huh. the region? Uh, well, it's difficult because uh, it's difficult because we have no direct knowledge of what Euro Hungarian television does because we cannot receive it. Uh -huh. So I, I have no real idea. I mean, I, of course, uh, knew in earlier times other. I try to remember the name of some some Hungarian directors which were which were doing very good things. Uh, but recently, for instance, I discovered someone which I didn't know at all before before this year, uh -huh. which is uh, 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 Belatar, uh -huh. Belatar, and uh, I discover a very fascinating film, done, done, on the script, written in a novel by a people from Liège, Georges Simenon. It's called The Men from London. Uh -huh, yes. It's a very intriguing film you know it begins very slowly you don't know where you are you don't know where he's going to lead you but there is a fantastic atmosphere uh -huh. and it develops progressively in a very fascinating way and i've been showing the film here with uh, uh, there was a there was a specialist of Simonon who came at the university of Petsch to discuss uh, to explain what Simonon was and all that uh -huh. but we did the other way around we have been showing this film in a in a film festival in liege three months ago and the, and the audience was fascinated too because, well, Mr. Tarr is a great director. That's what I, only thing I can say uh -huh. because it's it's the only recent, uh, recent um, f Hungarian film director that I that I know of. I must uh -huh. be sorry about that, but uh, I think that what 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 should be done in Europe is to make circulation of films and circulation of uh, of uh, of television much more important than it is now. Uh -huh. uh, for instance, for instance. There are not many films from Belgium who come here. Yes, sometimes Les Frères Dardenne, the Brother Dardenne have been shown here, I've heard mm -hmm. at the university and all mm -hmm. that. But there are good films in all countries and we are submerged, submerged, I don't know if the word is, is a good one, but uh, we are, uh, the, we have American film all, all over the place uh -huh. and we should push forward the distribution of European, European films. films. Uh -huh. That is very important. We are rich in Europe, but we don't know if, oh, this camera is moving very intensely because the excitement of the gentleman behind the camera is so strong. I want to repeat, European film must circulate from country to country so that each European discover the richness of the others and that we feel strong together and that we feel that this cinema gives us something interesting for our intelligence and our feelings. That's what it should be. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much. Bye! Bye. <laughs>